Hi everyone, it's Margaret here to share another journal that I've just completed. Um, the inspiration for this one came uh, to me when I found and purchased a ladies um, evening suit, um, beautifully beaded and um, just full of uh, goodies and dangles. And I purchased it and it reminded me of the, uh, the 1920s uh, type of look. And so I decided that I would uh, do a 1920s journal, which I completed. And just to give you an idea, this is what um, the suit looked like. It was a skirt and a top. And uh, as you can see, I don't know how much you can see, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Completely studded with uh, pearls and sequins. Anyway, it had a gorgeous dangle on the bottom, which I cut up. That looked something like this. Uh, as you can see, that's what's what's left of it. Now this was a little challenging. Um, if you're going to work with beaded fabric, uh, just be aware that you do have to glue off the ends, seal the, the beads so that they don't, um, they don't unravel. So it took a little longer and um, it was a bit of a pain, but um, I think I was successful and uh, the journal came out, uh, uh, well, not too bad. I, I hope you like it. And this is what it looks like. Again, this is a purse journal. And as you can see, it's, whoops, it's very heavily beaded. Now, the base fabric was actually from a lady's top. And I had had this uh, in my stash for the longest time. And I knew that at some point, uh, it would come in handy for something. And sure enough, here it is. This is the base. And again, it was a little difficult to work with it because you have to seal off the beading once you cut the fabric. Otherwise, your beads are going to scatter all over the place. So um, the actual front and back pages were uh, I had to glue them because to seal the, the beads off, if you don't glue them, uh, they will come off. And if you do glue them, then you can't put them through the sewing machine. So I had to kind of um, glue it all together um, to get the cover of the journal. So what I did was, um, in addition to the um, beaded uh, ladies top base that I used, um, I used the dangle trim, as you can see, which was from the other, uh, the other suit that I previously showed you. And it's just sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. It's just absolutely beautiful. I created this uh, um, closure um, for the purse using the same applique from the same top and then I used um, a vintage brooch that I had um, to uh, uh, mimic a, a type of closure for the bag and then I had some bead tassels that I cut down and made the beautiful hanging dangles here put some um, appliques, cut them out to um, finish the top of the bag. And there is the cover. The back is pretty simple. I just once again use the, the beaded uh, fabric and then I use the, the dangle trim from the other top that I showed you. And that's the back. So the first page and I'm going to flip this back, so we'll do one page at a time. Okay, you have a beautiful uh, flapper girl. And once again, I um, silver thread embroidered her headpiece to give it a little bit of sparkle and embellishment. And I used the uh, ruffle on the side to frame the, the picture. And then using the cutouts again from the uh, the original uh, uh, project top that I used. I cut out various uh, pieces from that and reuse them in, in different ways. For example, this was um, a doily that was cut up as the base 
And then I use the little dangle trims uh, as ribbon for the little bow applique that I put here. Um, trimmed it with some um, pearls and I made a flower which is um, uh, a flower that was inspired by Trisha. This is the stuffed yo-yo flowers and um, it's really pretty. I love the, uh, the three-dimensional effect of that. On the side here again I used one of the uh, appliques and I created a, a little um, a little sash that's um, pinned down with a little pearl uh, which kind of shows the ruffle uh, being held in place by this pretty trim here and that's the first page oh by the way the base page here again um, not much left to see but um, it's uh, a lace with a little bit of uh, silver embroidered in it and I put that over a flesh colored um, um, uh, satin which became the base of this page. Little wedding applique, some trim, um, and that is that page. The next page, this is a little blinged out. I don't know if you can see, but it sparkles like crazy. And she is absolutely gorgeous in the center. And uh, it's again, a little flapper girl. And I've used silver thread once more to embroider her garment and her uh, her headpiece and this also was done with the uh, same um, silver embroidered uh, lace on top of the uh, uh, um, flesh colored satin and what I've done here is I've created some uh, some petals um, using that combination and I used it to embellish the the side of the uh, of the picture. I made, um, well this is a, an existing a ribbon rosette that I had that I coffee stained and here's a shabby chic flower with a little satin rosette on the top, some pearl embellishment. I made a little uh, lace ruffle for the top here and once again I used the uh, the original um, uh, project top to make the uh, the little corner bow and the little dangle and there you have that page again some trim on the bottom as you can see following page again a little flapper lady with a, a, a feathered headpiece so I included the uh, the feathers on that just to carry out uh, the same um, as in the photo and I embellished her again with silver thread and included a little uh, a little Swarovski crystal here to really make it shine and sparkle. This is from again a lady's top it's some little dangle ruffle and I put that in the corner um, with a little bit of rhinestone trim um, to add a little bit of sparkle. The pleated um, trim around the picture and then again layered uh, with uh, uh, flowers and, and pearl appliques from a wedding dress um, again flowers these little pieces that were trimmed off a doily and underneath actually you can see the uh, the fringe which was very typical of the 1920s um, the flapper girls used to wear the dresses with the, the fringe and there you have that page. The next page, again I used the same um, curtain trim that I you had used on a, a previous project and I cut out all the, um, the trim and layered one on top of the other. There's uh, four, four or five uh, layers here which gives almost like a little peacock effect. And then again, I used the same um, embroidery on the uh, curtain, cut out this little uh, piece here for the side. I used the, uh, the same uh, sequin bow from the original top, added some uh, fringe on the bottom, some little bit of a trim in the corner there, and then an over the top, um, it was actually an earring, um, and I 
put that here. It's in silver and pearls and Aurora Borealis type uh, um, beads. And as you know, the 1920s uh, was really, they really went over the top with everything. So I tried to achieve that with this particular uh, journal. This is actually the center of the journal where the um, handle is uh, resting. And I've embellished it a little bit, secured it in the center. This one is in pearls, so it's a little bit more stable. And uh, that becomes part of the, uh, the decoration for this particular page. And there it is. The next page, again, the little flapper girl, whoops, little flapper girl. She's gorgeous. I've embellished her uh, her headpiece with some uh, uh, silver sequins. And then again, I took all these gorgeous flowers off a, an embroidery piece on a blouse. I stained it with coffee and I cut each petal out and created the uh, little crown uh, trim around the top of the page. Um, I had in my stash these beautiful uh, pearl um, uh, cutout embellishments which I used on the uh, on the picture as it was oval and it just fit this area perfectly a little bit of trim around here and then I made a, uh, a lace flower with a little bit of uh, pink lace in this in the on top of that and a pearl um, on the on the in the center in the corner here, I've added a little tassel, tassel trim with a pearl detail. And there is that page. The last page is the pocket page. And as you can see, I've used that fabric from the um, original top and I cut it out carefully. I sealed the pearls on either side and the bottom and the top. And then I lined it with the, um, the same satin fabric, um, which is actually called powder puff. And uh, I put this little trim here um, to, uh, at the bottom. And then here you can see a little bit better the uh, embroidered silver um, lace that I used as the base over the, um, the satin material. Finished it off with a little bit of trim all around and there's your pocket page. Then as I said, the, um, the handle is from uh, a pearl necklace that I kind of actually broke off and put it back together and was able to just feed it through the center of the journal and it gives it a nice strong hold and becomes the handle of the journal. Now, I really love the purse journals because you can also hang them. And sometimes, you know, with the conventional journals, you, um, you know, it's, you have to have a proper stand for, for it. Otherwise, you're gonna just leave it lying somewhere and you don't really see it. But with these hanging ones, it's nice. You can put them on a door, you can, you can hang them on a wall, you can, you can put them almost anywhere. So there you have it. I don't know if you can see the sparkle of it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Really, uh, really over the top, as they, as they say. And um, um, hope you like it. And um, I hope to hear your, your comments and hope to see you soon with another project. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.